Missouri National Guard engineers converged on Carruthersville to build a retaining wall to protect the town as the Mississippi River crests. The river is expected to reach 49 and a half feet Saturday, making overflow of the 50 feet wall a dangerous possibility. 761 citizen soldiers have come to southeast Missouri in response to the flooding. Of these, the engineers in Carruthersville have been focused on filling sandbags and building a sandbag levee that's nine feet thick at the base and three feet high. That levee will hold seawall overflow from invading the community. Staff Sergeant Mark Weller, a combat engineer with the 1140th Engineer Battalion, explained what the state emergency duty mission means to him. This is the greatest opportunity you have as a as a citizen or a soldier to serve your community. This is why most of us are here. This is why most of us join, is to help out in time of need, and just to pay back what we feel we owe the country. This community has repeatedly worked with the National Guard in recent years due to tornadoes, ice storms, and now flooding. Community members are providing food, drinks, and snacks daily for soldiers working in the area. Sheila Baird, a member of the First Baptist Church of Carruthersville, explained what the Missouri National Guard has meant to her after several natural disasters. I guess we're a strong community, but we could not make it without the support of you guys. The National Guard will remain on state emergency duty until released by Governor Jay Nixon. Reporting from Carruthersville, Missouri for the 70th Mobile Public Affairs Detachment, I'm Army Sergeant Joshua Bregg.